Hello, welcome back. Uh, Mulok has claimed the throne of bureaucracy. Do you know what? I think that there have been several thrones claimed now that I haven't looked at, even though I always say I will. Uh, I will definitely do that this turn, though. I've got a marker in front of me to remind me to do it. Hey guys, um, I may have forgotten to look at the thrones again, um, so I'm just doing this as a separate clip. But we'll just quickly go through them to see who has what and what they do. Um, Arak has bureaucracy. On spread 5. Winning its order, minus 100 gold. I, I'm not a big fan of this throne, I don't really like it. I don't think Dominion Conflict Bonus really does much either. Um, I've got a mod nation that just gives you tons of Conflict Bonus for free. It's not really noticeable. Um, this is basically just trade 100 gold for order scales. I'm not a huge fan. Um, you can completely... This can't go negative. Province can't go negative. So if this is in like a wasteland or something, it's pretty free. Um, but other than that... Um, Inner Throne, I think by Kalem. Three Blood Slaves is pretty nice. Empower someone later on. I don't know if Kalem gets blood na natively, but if they do, that'd be really nice. Outer Throne on Nabar, meaning it's magic plus one. Ooh, it, isn't Nabar the nation that got... Th yeah. Oh, so Nabar has a magic throne and a researcher throne. That's really scary. They were already first on research. Maybe this is why. That's, yeah, that's pretty, that's good to know, actually. They've been very quiet all, all game. I don't think they're in any wars. They're just researching. They're first on research. Two thrones. They're probably going to be like, um, Dark Horse this game. Because uh, at present, it feels like Uruk is kind of in the lead. They're very big. They're in multiple wars and winning them all. Lots of thrones, lots of caps. Um, but yeah, Nabar, that's pretty scary, actually, I think. Um, Agartha has Throne of the Moon, meaning gets Growth plus one, Blessed Troops get Precision plus three, that's pretty nice as well. Uh, Kalem has Gaia, Growth plus two, also nice. I think they, they had that early on, didn't they? Um, Crystal Throne gives you Crystal Mages, so very nice. Very similar to my Adepts of the Iron Order. In fact, is this identical to the Iron Throne? Oh no, no gems, of course. I get the, like, the crap version of the Crystal Throne. See, these are... Astral 2, Earth 2. I get better mages though, that's the um, saving grace. Why not Astral 2, Earth 2 and then a 100% chance pick? Um, Silver Throne not been claimed yet. Pretty nice as well. Um, Golden Throne on... Alright, lots of adepts in this game. Another great throne. 200 gold. That cancels out bureaucracy, doesn't it? Nicely for him. Um, especially if bureaucracy is in a province where it's free. And yeah, Throne of Knowledge. There's the current state of Thrones. Um, back at it. Uh, we did the usual summons and spells as usual. We, we cast Dark Knowledge and found a Graveyard of the Damned in Earthshell Mountains. That gives us two Death Gems per turn. Pretty nice. That takes Death up to seven per month. Uh, we also did... Uh, this is a really weird one. We did Arcane Probing. It's set up to just automatically cast each month, so... I haven't really been paying attention to where they target. But the site we found was in Rimire. But we don't own Rimire, so I don't understand what happened. It was owned by man last turn, and we, we attacked it with like one unit this turn. Like you can see here, like we attacked into it and we were beaten. But I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to target enemy provinces. I don't understand what happened there. That's very strange. Um... But yeah, we now know that there's an unfound door in Rimoy because we found it for man, I guess. I, I don't know, maybe I'm not paying attention to something, but it's very confusing. And we also cast Voice of Absinthe and found nothing. Uh, so yeah, we had three battles. One of them was we threw a commander into Rimoy just in case it wasn't defended, but it was. Uh, and there was also a battle in Bright Gate. It was me attacking the farmland with some uh, big boys. Uh, he did put the province events up to 10, which is not really that scary. Um, but he does give him free cav. You get pretty much just obliterated by Gigantes. How are these guys doing? Did you get any afflictions from that? No, they're all good. I do have a little bit of affliction resistance. Uh, so that was Brightgate, we've taken that back. And then unfortunately, uh, Maragnon attacked into Glade Woods. It's the same army, it's just what he has left. Um, yeah, I mean, this is clever. I mean, Blade Woods is where I was going to consolidate all my army, which I now can't do. 
Now he has flaming arrows going off on turn one, which is good to know. We've seen all that before. Uh, there's Gladewoods. Funny looking army on the map. For some reason, the um, Dominion thinks that by far the most numerous unit in this army is the Gelatinous Cube. Uh, I'm not sure that's the case. Uh, there was no PD on Magnon, so we actually are resieging it, which is nice. Uh, and in Ard, we got five Earth Gems. Uh, we started to destroy the walls in Magnon. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that'll probably take a while. With um, do you know what? 38 siege strength. That's actually higher than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like 10. Um, and we're still under siege in Saren Forest as well. That's down to 471. That's still fine, I think. Um, and that's it for messages. Okay, um, where are we targeting this turn with Arcane Probing, just out of curiosity? Midria. Um, Midria we do own, right? Yeah, it's there. Okay. And Voice of Apsu is at Wolf and Plain, which is... Probably should have checked this before I started recording if I wanted to do this. Mm hmm. Wolf and Plain, okay, that's fine. And Dark Knowledge is at Wachi. I don't know where Wachi is. That's all fine. Definitely not targeting any enemy provinces this turn. There was just a patch to Dominions, like it literally just got applied right now. I can't have bugged anything out though, can it? Because this this turn resolved last night. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I don't I don't understand this. Maybe I, I'm just overlooking something, but we definitely didn't own that province last turn. Anyway, what are we doing this turn? Well, Manor has the big stack in Gladewoods. I was gonna move everything down into this province, and I now can't do that. If I walk into him with just this army, and he moves against me, it probably loses. Again, just because of casters. Um, so, based on what he can see, he can see armies in these three provinces. So if he's going to attack a fort, it will be this one, right? Because I can reinforce this one from two directions, and I can reinforce this one from one direction. So from his perspective, surely this is the better target. And in general, Magnon's been making good decisions. Do you know what I should have checked? Can you feed this army? Is there anyone starving here? No. Not at all. You do have one of my endless bags of wine. <laughs> I just assume it's mine anyway. Um, so maybe a plane is more tempting if food is a problem, but it doesn't look like it is anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm just moving everything to Kratos and patrolling, because that's the best I can do. Um, if I miss it, yeah, hopefully he moves into Kratos and we have the fight, and that's great. If we miss him, I'm just going to move up to Glade Woods and go into Marignon, we'll take that. Like, I, I don't know. Um, as soon as he loses Marignon, he's not going to have any temples left, so it's not a big deal. It would be nice to get this resolved quick, but it's hard to catch armies in this kind of way. Um, and I need my army altogether to beat him. And just because separate, these these armies are trash. This one's pretty good, I suppose. Um, I need these guys all together, though. So everything's moving to Kratos. It's scripted very similar to it originally. We've got quite high quality units in the front now, because we've got the Inyashi. We've got a couple of ca cave grubs and Ictiads as well. Uh, a few Gigantes. Uh, and a huge amount of spears. We've got Tyrants set up to do Fire Elementals and Falling Fires. We've got E2 mages who I'm going to have doing blade winds. I think blade winds might be pretty good against that army. Where are the other E2s? There's one, there's two, there's three. They'll do blade winds because, I mean, the, the unit that's mostly in that army is crossbows and then they have protection of seven. Blade winds are probably kill quite a lot of those guys. So the earth mages will do blade winds, currency fire elementals, and my god does howl. Pretty similar to originally. Um, so hopefully it moves into it. We finally get to have this battle. Um, the stuff that's currently sieging Maragon is going to try and take Gladewoods while this happens. That's if he moves out of it. He might just move back to Maragon, who knows. But if we do have a fight in Kratos, I want to make sure that his retreat has been taken. So we'll attack Gladewoods with this to take it. Um, we'll attack Ripewoods with the thing that's just in the cave there, which is just some cave grubs. And a guy with summon earth elemental scripted. Hopefully we take that. 
So we'll make sure that we take all these provinces now and definitely take his retreat route as well. Um, assuming he moves down. He might not move down. He might not he might move here, he might move here, he might move here, who knows? But in some defending Kratos, let's work on the assumption that that's going to be correct, and we take his retreat route, and that wipes out his entire army. Uh, and then we can just use the cave grubs to go and take Marion on, on their own, um, and immediately move their stack down to attack man. It should be much more useful. So that's what's happening over here. Um, these guys are just moving into the fort. Uh, yeah, the guy that's in the cave with the cave grub is going to take ripe woods. The units I've got in Arda are going to take this province back from Man because I don't know what happened to that army. I, I mean, he's sacked this fort to AI Fischia, so I assume that army is just gone. So let's just take this back with some trolls, some hurlers. That should be fine. Um, so we're attacking three provinces this turn, defending Kratos. Uh, and over here, just moving commanders around. I'm going to stop patrolling in Plegra again. Still catching slaves in Windsong. Um, they're just recruiting mages everywhere and researching and they're just waiting to see what happens in Saren. So hopefully we finally catch Maradon's army this turn and win. I think it should go fine. We might lose a few things because Flaming Arrows on a bunch of crossbows on turn 1 is pretty scary but we've still got significantly more units than him. This doesn't total everything up when you hit Y but let's see. This is 350 units, this is 234 units. We've got like 7 Fire Elementals and Howl. We're gonna win, it's just a question of how much we lose while we're winning. And hopefully we don't lose too many mages or anything. Uh, 13, that's a lot of commanders, what's... Well, we do have a lot of like just leader commanders. This guy's waiting to do a lab, I've moved him back underwater to do a lab. We will, we will get that lab built one day and start doing Voice of Tiamat. Uh, this is all just commanders who aren't moving, that's fine. Alright, so that was turn 40, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next turn. Hello, welcome back. Uh, usual spells and stuff, we didn't find any sites this turn except for with Arcane Probing. Uh, which got a Garden of Pearls for two pearls, which is quite nice. Uh, everything else is as usual, I'm still doing lots of our waters. Um, we'll see how useful that is. Die important. This is frustrating. Um, Olm actually cast Riches from Beneath. Uh, I might still try casting it anyway, see if we can knock his out. Bit of a risk because we don't actually have that much Earth gem income, so it might be a huge waste of Earth gems. But who knows. Uh, three battles then. Ripe Woods, first of all. We took that, no problems. Off Magnum. Uh, Black Forest. Took that off Man, no problems. Uh, this is my Trolls and my Hurlers. 30 Burr Tribe. How many... How much province events is that? I guess it's only 15. Still quite a lot, I suppose. Uh, Glade Woods took back, no problems. And uh, Maragnon is no longer under siege. We lost the uh, trash that's been harassing his cap. Um, so yeah, all in all, the world looks mostly the same. We took Black Forest back. Um, got these two provinces back. About it. Back to normal. Uh, Flagra got a plus 10 income, which is quite nice actually. And uh, in World's Teeth Mountain, we unearthed 511 gold. Uh, the castle in Kratos has been completed, which is nice. And we're still under siege in Saren Forest. This is down to 331 wall. Getting there. Uh, okay, so this turn, um, quite a simple turn. We can see that he's broken siege in this fort, and it looks like his god is here now. Um, so with that in mind, I'm not going to press my luck and try and take these provinces. But I'm just going to head home, because if I if I move here then it, it takes me two turns to get back and I want to make sure there's some defense in this fort, so let's move, just head home now. Um, if we had a bit more force over here we could keep taking provinces, but let's not press our luck just now. I'll head home. Uh, I'm going to have uh, an earth mage heading up to the cave now to sit here. And the earth mage that's here, I'm going to keep these grubs with the army, so He's heading to join the army. And as planned, everything's just going to meet up in Glade Woods now. It's still the same big army we've seen. No changes. Uh, same as usual. Only new addition, of course, is that we now have the Adepts in the fight. Um, so I'll drop some Gifts of Heaven for the first few turns. I don't want to keep spamming that though in case it hits all my own dudes, but um, got a range of 100. You can sit these guys quite far back and just have them drop a few Gifts. 
once the uh, combat opens. I think that should be fine. Um, yep, so we'll be in Glade Woods next turn, see what Mary does, move on to his cap. And this should resolve itself after that. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed. I can't see this dragging on any more than this, though. Uh, over on this side of my territory, I'm going to move my Tyrant back to Flegra, and I'm, I recruited a Cyclops this turn, I'm going to move him to Kinal. Uh, I'm going to have the Cyclops and Kinal do Fires from Afar on this Aging Force. And my Tyrant is also going to do Fires from Afar. He can't quite do it from um, Flegra. But this turn I'm going to forge a... let's see if I can find it. I can. I'm forging a Staff of Flame Focus, which gives me plus one fire spell range. Um, so that will allow me to do Fires from Afar from Kinal and then Fires from Afar from Flegra with the Fire Staff as well. Um, both on Saren Forest. Hopefully that does something. I just want to harass this army. Maybe if we're lucky we'll kill, kill a couple of units, kill a few mages maybe, and that'll do. I'm also stepping up the um, summoning of trash in this fort. I'm now doing wyverns, scorpion beasts, summer lions which are pretty good, and fall bears as well which are also pretty good. Because um, I realized I had some earth boots lying around so I can get these guys out. Uh, yeah, wyverns, scorpion beasts, summer lions, fall bears, still um, cubes as well as, as normal. Uh, and still collect cows as well. Somehow we can keep catching, um... I guess, what, what is the command? Is it just summon allies? I don't know. Uh, we can still keep getting uh, cows in the army every turn, even though we're under siege, which is cool, I guess. Um, I was sticking everything in the garrison to see how much stuff is actually here. It's 258 units, but not all of it is terribly high quality. Should go okay though. I think if we harass them a bit and then just absolutely flood the battle with elementals, it should be fine. Um, not much else to say. Astral Pearl Income is now up to 12. Um, second best is Fire with 8, Death with 7. Um, I alchemized a few pearls this turn to cast all those, rich, all those summon spells. I think that's it. Not much else to say. We'll, we'll, this should resolve soon though, and then we'll probably get stormed in a couple of turns here as well. Uh, I'm going to submit it partially and check this recording. <laughs> um, that was turn 41. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on turn 42. Hello, welcome back. Uh, lots of summon spells. I'm going to go through all of the summons so you can see what I've summoned. Um, but we also did some site search, and we found one site which is a labyrinth of skulls in Giant's Rest. Which is just one death boot gem per turn. Uh, two battles, we attacked into Meridon. Apparently, he's put tons of province defense back down. Um, 88 units. Pretty yikes. And then also, World's Teeth. This is where Meridon threw his army. So he took that off us. Uh, two events, Earth Saw. We got the Hidden Sight of Mystical Power Fountain of Fire event again. We had this in our cap ages ago. I should probably try and trigger these, whatever they are. I think you have to search, or research, or do something with a fire mage. I'll look it up. Uh, and in ripe woods, a fairy court of summer has been traveling through the land. Growth plus one, luck plus one, sloth plus three, and minus 100% tax. Um, Saren, For Saren Forest is down to uh, 209 wall, that's fine. And we actually started to starve in Glade Woods. Fortunately I've been forging uh, new bags of wine, so That'll go away after the end of next turn, but until then, we do have quite a few people starving now, unfortunately. Uh, that doesn't change anything though, let's roll onto Maragnon and get this finished off. Um, I don't like all that province defense. Because he could just move back now and do move patrol, and then... Instead of just having 100 crossbows and nothing else, he's going to have 100 crossbows plus... 12 halberdiers and 31 pikeineers and 12 swordsmen. But you know what? I'm pretty sure we're still going to win. Unless he does something else uh, clever that beats us. But we've still got loads of units. We've got the same scripting. Fire elementals, air elementals, gifts from heaven and blade wind. I'll we'll have Hal in the fight. My god's currently on 108 hit points. Let's just do it. It should go okay, I think. And hopefully we don't lose anything. If we do lose stuff, hopefully it's not too much. Um, also going to attack World's Teeth with one commander just to take this off him while we're doing this. 
Uh, up here, gonna move our commander and my earth mage into Realm of Silence now. They can stay in the cave. Uh, not much else going on anywhere else. But I do now have the staff of flame focus on the new torrent. So he's doing fires from afar on Saren Forest. We have a Cyclops sitting in Kinal who's doing fires from afar on Saren Forest. Um, I'm not sure if we get to see the results of this one or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does work correctly though. Let me just let's just reread the description on this spell. Um, the spell can also be used to harass a besieging force or the defenders of a castle. And that sounds like it, it's going to hit the sieges, so that's okay. A scout or a scrying spell will be required to see whether the spell was successful or not. I'm not sure if that part means I need to um, have a scout in this province while I'm under siege. Um, it's kind of a moot point anyway though, because I don't think I have a scout anywhere, no. Um, but I don't know, maybe we'll be able to see the results of this, maybe we won't. Um, I still can't recruit scouts anywhere by the way, if you're wondering. There isn't a single province anywhere in my territory that lets me get scouts. The only scouts I have are the two priests I have over here, uh, these guys. We aren't much help for doing that. So let's look at what we've got in Saren now. Uh, we're up to 20, 23 cubes, I don't know how effective these are going to be. But they are very good for plugging up the gateway um, versus line troops. So. That's the idea. Uh, they'll be plugging up the gateway. I've then been summoning, trying to summon anyway, units that satisfy three criteria primarily. One is stuff that has high morale. So cubes are 50 morale. Um, Dispossess spirits, 30 morale. Uh, full burrs and summer lines are both 50 morale because they're mindless. Uh, and then ogres are 14, wild winds are 13, scorpions are 15. So they're all quite high morale troops. The spamming panic won't do much to them. Um, I also like these units here because they are ethereal, and if we're planning on clogging up the gate, then the ethereal stuff can just walk through the wall. But these guys will be able to just walk through the wall, so all the burrs and the lions. And the burrs have got 53 hit points and, and regeneration. So unless a um, man has a flaming arrows bless, these will be pretty tricky for him to actually kill. Um, there are only a few of them, of course, but. These guys I, I summoned because they're flying units that aren't undisciplined. There's a bunch of other flying units we could get, like griffins and things, but they're all undisciplined. But these guys we can have hold and, hold and attack rear. Seems useful. And then the ogres, ogres and the scorpions are just quite, they're just nice high morale, high protection units. Um, so that's everything that's in the fort now. We do also still have 30 crossbows, 60 warriors, um, about 85 archers. And then we'll have everyone doing elementals. Um, we're also going to hit enchantment 6 this turn, so we could try out the Sir Dragon Teeth. I do know that this spell is supposed to be very, very good. So it might be better than um, Earth Elementals, which is what we would, would otherwise be doing with our E2 guys. So we'll give that a shot as well. So I think when this army finally does break into this fort, we can definitely put up some kind of defense. Um, that was 742. Uh, next turn we should have, well, we might have a big fight on Marigron. And if not, the turn after we probably will. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.